So last time out was pretty goddamn eventful as Grimsby Town have a Ballon d'Or winner. Damien Pizarro lifted the trophy, but we are still yet to lift one for ourselves this year. In the Premier League, we just sit top of the table. And in the Champions League, we have Inter. So today we will battle with the Italian powerhouses chasing this Champions League title. As yes, people, welcome back. Here we are with Grimsby, and yes, it is coming towards the end of the overall save. It will be the last season. I'm sorry to say to some of you guys, but the reviews are telling me that, of course. And I think the majority of you will want to see a new save, and this is never the last Grimsby to glory. As like I just said, we've got Inter in a crowded month with United. Liverpool. I'm very excited about today and I've never said it on this channel but drop a like and subscribe if you are excited for today because we want to keep on growing this one. The second channel is very fun and Grimsby start the season today as Brighton a very good team. We're a very tired one. Still I am going to risk it and we do pick up the win. McAtee and Dewsbury Hall Love it from our OG lads. Or oh, not fully OG. You get what I'm trying to say there. Is, is that Ewan Summers? Is he leaving the club? Oh my days. He's actually gone to Everton. Well, it is the final save, but still, that's heartbreaking, man. In the final month, I must have missed that transfer going out as I want to have a word with Klopp, and it might not be a word you guys like. But I'm going to say, Jürgen, thanks for meeting me just when I called this meeting, as I want to discuss transfers or the lack of them. I want to do zero business in this window. We have no money as it is and I will not let players leave. Sorry if it makes them unhappy or yourself unhappy, but I just feel it's for the better. We can't afford to lose our squad, which Jürgen says I understand. I think we do have a brilliant team as is. It's just the players I worry about. I hope they don't want out themselves. Such as Charlie Savage and we've got to watch Pizarro. After winning the Ballon d'Or, Real Madrid might want a word. And that's what I'm worried about as well as Jurgen Klopp as Gabrielle's always bloody tired, but we're always bloody winning. Back to back wins, or should we call it triple on the bounce? Because McAtee's got a goal and we have won the black and white derby. Love to see it. Absolutely love to see that happen. Andrea Rossi with a bid. I don't want to sell this man because we have got FA Cup games coming up and he might get on the bench still. Doug Tharm getting some offers, but he's our captain and he's staying. As with Evan Curry leaving, we do need a player staying here. And here's the bid I thought. Damien Pizarro. £302 million. Pounds. Now, we could afford anybody with that but I don't want to sell him. He's got 11 goals so far, which is behind McAtee. McAtee's 91, and still we've got Meerdink, who we could recall back for this FA Cup game upcoming, but I'm not going to go and do that. I'm just going to play with Guerrero, as let's make sure we beat Huddersfield in the Cup. Come on, don't go out round one. A 2-1 narrow win, which is very, very close as we've got another ceremony. This time in January, is this manager of the year? Jurgen Klopp. I mean, we've done the bloody double. He's still got his Liverpool hat on. You could have took that off, Jurgen. But there he is arriving at the stage with the trophy. So a Ballon d'Or winner and a manager of the year. Sends me back to meeting Jurgen saying congratulations. Manager of the year and I've got to say myself you deserve this and you have been immense for us so please just keep on going because we'd like to win the Champions League and he says boss I'm literally thinking taking on this job has been better than Liverpool that's nice of him to say if only he could bloody take the hat off now as we've gone into Aston Villa and we've gone and won a penalty. Come on, John McAtee. Just keep the good times rolling. It is top bin the Roonies. 1-0 the Mariners. Brilliant. But what's not brilliant in this game is the kit that Villa's travelled in. Jesus, that's a kit clash as we need to get this ball out. Coble with the punch away. Now McAtee battling with the Gavardiol. And we've kept the ball right here. A ball into Pizarro. Look at the movement from Scott. 
I didn't expect him to be there. Pizarro in the middle. He should have got a second. Close, but still, we should get a lot more chances in this game as long as we don't drop points. That is a terrible chip over the top. But this chance right here looks a good one. Look at the space. It's John McAtee who's through, and he should not be missing that. Doing the backflips, getting a brace. Is there anything this man can't do? Apart from maybe win the Ballon d'Or. Challenges teammate as there's a counter-attack with McAtee here. This should be one of the last attacks. Can't see which player's which, but I'm trying my hardest. John McAtee with the run. Almost getting a ball through as look at this for a free kick. Scott, I might as well shoot. Absolutely terrible. But that's the end of the game and we do get the points. That's what we love to see as the next game is Harrogate, a team we played in season one, of course, in League Two. A 4-3 win. They've put up a fight and they are in League Two, but they've got some solid players to be fair. They've got a 71 rated and I'm pretty sure a 72. Nice to see from Harrogate as it would be nice to see a win against Man United, a 2-2 draw away. Simulator because I do want to play later on against Chelsea, but Leeds... They get a point away from us. Don't like the home bottle as we don't bottle against Brentford though. A 2-1 victorious win. Get in. And that was with our second team because you see what game's up next. It is the San Siro game against Inter in the Champions League. And I'm sorry to say again, but I am going to sim it. This is not just a simming channel though. I will play the second leg. I just feel simming the first leg makes it interesting. There's a draw and a missed penalty. See, very good game. As I was in fact waiting for Chelsea, but they got moved because they was supposed to be in that moment. Is that the last game of the season? 25th of May, it is. The final game of the season is the team in second. What an occasion. Or should I actually say the team in first because they have gone to top spot and we play Liverpool next. A team we haven't enjoyed playing, probably a bit tired. And what do the fans think? I'm hoping they're on our side. One says we've got a manager of the year. Yes, we should do this. And even influencers on the platform still thinking we should win. And this game at Anfield needing a win. At least they have dropped off our tails a bit. It seems like it's us and Chelsea with a gap between us and third. So yeah, it's just a win we need. Treat it like any other game because we want back-to-back -back Premier Leagues as Schmidt. Look at that. One touch and a ball through onto Pizarro, the world's best player, who cuts inside, goes for the shot. But still not in the net as Laporte is retiring. I don't know if he's in their defence. That's a bad foul, Gabriel. Didn't really like that one. And Rashford to take the free kick. A man's jumped over the wall. It's Usman Dembele off the post. We failed to get rid of it. And Rashford scored again. Liverpool in the lead. And I can't believe what I'm seeing. Marcus Rashford doing that. And Anfield silencing us. Liverpool go and punish us. And I just hate playing them. Marcus Rashford, the world's best player, it seems, as Wolf. Gets in and tackles him. Matty, what a servant. What a player for this club. And there we go. Gelled heard round the corner. One of their best players all season. We just seem to not be good enough. As James McAtee on the ball right here. I mean, his brother's at the other post. Still Kim Min Jae defending and get the pressure on Alisson. It was close towards him. Almost getting it in. Azuzman Dembele and Marcus Rashford. He's got his tricky wingers as Adam Lallana and Valverde. We've completely missed the tackle. Good one from Schmidt. Second time round. Still though, it's Ramsey with the block and Wolf with the header as now Scott get us away. Alex Scott to try and set us off. If he keeps the ball in his balance, that is a brilliant ball to Schmidt and McAtee through the middle. A good little build up here. Schmidt turning away and can he put it into the box? Kim Min Jae, handball! It's entirely his own fault. Surely a penalty, but no. Free kick. I mean, surely you give the second one. Still, the free kick is terrible. And Liverpool even breaking on us. Gelled heard with the tackle. He's off the field. He's on a yellow. That is calamitous. Another bad day at the office, man. The only other team I've rebuilt on this channel is Liverpool. And it's the only other team I can't beat. As that was a bad challenge from Valverde. But still, we've got to play on. Doug Thambra on because I did want more defenders back. McAtee around his man. 
Straight towards Allison. Not our bloody day. Not our day at all. It's Casado around his man, though, still. We can't get central because they're blocking off all the runs. But Casado with a move there. Trying to sneak inwards, but the move not working as Valverde. Don't give a penalty away. Tham just rounded. 2-0 to Liverpool. Last minute of the game. The captain, Fede Valverde, who committed a horrible tackle on us, scores the winner. And it is a beautiful goal, to be fair. Just rounded our three defenders. And that is that. Absolute horror show has now no gelled herd for Tottenham. I actually don't believe it. Two losses on the bounce, but we do respond in the FA Cup and Manchester City, not the easiest team to play at all, fills me with a bit of confidence, but then, oh my days, I don't believe it. How are we losing to Palace? Genuinely annoying, but I am not going to check the Premier League table. Just go into Inter and hope the Champions League recovers. As this is the big one, I do really like their kit, Inters, but still we've got to try and beat them. We're in our own home kit at our home stadium. The Spotify stadium, that is, as Alex Scott threw immediately. And why is it hit that so weak? I mean, I did put it onto his left foot, which was probably a mistake. And when they're best players, probably Neves, I think we do stand a chance here. Pizarro running around, the Ballon d'Or winner, I'll keep saying that, until he's not the winner anymore, as Casado with the low shot. Chevalier with the save. Good start from us, though, and we just need to carry it on. Of course, this is not a Liverpool side. We should be able to beat them, and Pizarro with the ball at his feet, giving that across into the middle, into Jeldhurt, back from suspension, onto Scott, who spooned it. What a terrible effort. I mean, man, that is awful as now Neves running away from us. Ball over the top towards this man, Gravenberg, but Dewsbury Hall across and across the field to Schmidt, who just loves to drill a pass into Scott on a good turn away. And that's a ball out wide, misses McAtee, but we'll give it back to him. McAtee in the middle onto Alex Scott, taking all the chances. Or you could say wasting all the chances as McAtee around the side into Schmidt. An outswinger into McAtee, and I don't know what he's doing. Trying a bicycle kick from outside the box in the Champions League. Second leg knockouts. Not what I really expect from a player. From a player as good as him, of course, as Schmidt into Scott. Dewsbury Hall to try and line one up. It might fall here to McAtee who takes the ball away from his man and drills it into the bottom corner, somehow scoring that one. Just like last year when we did play Madrid, we've took the lead with a shot and now we just don't bottle this. Fantastic little effort as now we need to get a tackle on Leonardo, but it falls back to Gravenberg. Savio with a chip in and... That is what we didn't want. How has that gone in? Gregor Kobel, man. I've just... I've probably got to ask questions. Lataro Martinez. He's a brilliant player. And look at that. I talked about trying bicycle kicks. He goes and scores a similar-ish one. Vinny Jr. did the same last year, didn't he? Scoring after we did in the UCL still... Don't happen again because, of course, we're not behind in this fixture. We still do need another goal, though, and McAtee up the field stealing the ball. Pizarro, Scott, just look for Jeldherd. He is always in good space and always gets a ball through onto McAtee, who tries his shot, and Pizarro falls to him in the area. It is us who responds, and our number 10 Ballon d'Or winner... Of course, I did have to mention it. And how has that gone in? I've got zero idea, but still with the way the game is going, I don't think it's the last goal in this game. It would be glorious if we got the next one. It's McAtee running into the middle. The cross too close to the goalkeeper. Savio running around us. And oh, there was confusion in the box. But Casado to bring this away. Very calm in possession. Pizarro. Oh, beautiful choice. Look at that. Didn't run himself. Knows he doesn't have the legs as McAtee. Getting it around to McAtee. Headering it down to Casado. And that should have been 3-1. Lovely cushioned header as the other McAtee into Casado. James. James gets the ball back, he tries a long shot and it falls to Schmidt, our left back, it should! Oh my days, how has Scott not scored? Fell to him on the line as now Gravenberg, come on, we've got to stop them from scoring again. I don't know how the foul isn't given and now McAtee, just blast it, have a shot. 
If that counts as a shot as when the ball goes out of play, the game is over. Grimsby celebrating this year, but still very early on. We have got through the round of 16 into the quarterfinals. A glorious feeling now as the game's not decided yet. We will simulate Fulham just to see the next game. As we are a little bit tired, but we still do get the win. Pizarro and Casado with a brace, who's just coming into excellent form. And the series will not stop, because it might be an episode longer now, as who have we gone and drawn? City in the quarters.